What's good, YouTube? It's Sos. Money insane. You already know the vibes. You feel me? We back with another reaction. Now, everybody heard what's going on with Batman, Kevo, uh, son. He passed away. Um, rest in peace for him. You feel me? He passed away, and Hassan want to just give us, us his thoughts and opinion on this situation. Now, I, j I woke up, and I didn't know. I, I think this happened like yesterday or maybe in the middle of the night. I'm not sure. So, yeah, we about to react to that. Before I press play on this video, though, subscribe to my channel. You heard Put your chest in it. You know what I'm saying? Smash that like button. Turn on your post notifications. Which is the bell, so y'all can get notified every time I drop a video. You feel me? So, yeah, we about to get right into this real quick. Two things. The snoring you hear in the background is my dog laying next to my feet. <laughs> uh, two, what should really be number one. Rest in peace to the son of Bandman Kevo. Now, to anybody that's been paying attention to me, my movement, my brand, for seven years I've been speaking out against the senseless violence that happens in the black community. So much to the point to where that people was ignoring that topic, those titles, until I said, he got his snap box rocked. I had to come up with slogans. For people to understand, like, yo, it's real on a battlefield. Here's yeah, I'm not going to hold you, though. For you. The title is wild, though. Batman Kevin, 15 year old son, got his snot box rock. That's OD. Celebrities to understand, as well as you good parents out there. This lifestyle, this gangster persona that's being pushed through the radio, through the TV, through gang culture, through the crack culture, through the, co the co dope culture, the dope culture, the streets. Like Troy Ave said, it's not a myth. It's very, very real. And it's very, very evil. And it's very, very contagious. If like... Like what happened though? The, if y'all, if anybody know what happened, like exactly the details on like why this happened to him, y'all let me know in the comments. You feel me? Y'all, y'all let me know information that that I'm missing in my videos. You know, y'all always do that, and I appreciate y'all for that. Feel me? But fill me in, you're the righteous amongst us, the strong men amongst us, the leaders amongst us. Don't start using our voices to put out that fire in the hood. That evil will spread. And I don't care who you are. Nobody's children can escape the wrath of the streets. And like, if you, if you don't know who Batman Kevo is, he do YouTube. He usually, uh, you know, do like other side things, entrepreneur type. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think he was booked for like scamming. I'm not sure. Y'all could let me know in the comments if I'm wrong. But I, I think he was booked for scamming and like other stuff too. You feel me? But yeah, he get you know, he find different ways to get money, whatever. Batman Kevo. You run around with a million dollars worth of jewelry on. There, there's a price that comes with that. I know sometimes I can't be hard because I start to realize, and I'm going to give y'all an example. You know, I get back to New York with one of my daughters that don't live in the Bronx anymore. Give her a long lecture about not being in the Bronx to say it ain't safe outside. Your dad is a celebrity now, and people would love to sit up there and put in their title, his daughter got her snot box rocked. I'll leave out of the house. What's the first thing she do? I just, I, I speed up, sped, sped the video up just a little bit, because, you know, he like to, 
You feel me? Like he talks fast, but at the same time, he you know he older, so you know sometimes when he real like really deep in conversation, it be kind of slow. So yeah, we speeding up the video. Long story short, gets himself for Uber and goes back to the Bronx. Once children get a certain age, we can't control what they do. We can't control where they at, who they hang out with. All we can do is give them advice. But the reality of it is, we took a liking and we glorify a culture that's the, a, a, a deaf culture that's destroying us. And see, one thing about God, he's a just God. How do you take 20,000 children in the middle of the What? Right. What's that on Netflix? The streets is not just affecting the poor people and poor people children. Now the evil is reaching out and snatching the children of celebrities like Young Cheese, Gilly's son. May he rest in peace. Now Bam Bam Kebo. And there's a list of other celebrities. That's losing their children to the street. Nah, like, his dog is beasting right now, bro. His dog, his dog is really in, having a good sleep, bro. Like, <laughs> yo, you, you, yeah, he, he sound like a human. But well, people say, <laughs> oh, like that. You clout chasing. No, I just got sick and tired of seeing celebrities that was protecting their children from the streets, sending their kids off to college while our kids was going to an early grade with a penitentiary. I'm the one who started that. Got people talking about standing in front of the building with pictures in the background, pulling out liquor with candles burning, screaming, rest in peace. I started that. It was me, my voice. And I'm not going to never stop using my voice. Rest in peace to the son of Bam Man Kevo. My prayers go out to you. The question is, who's next? Because it's a never ending story. Because we keep on glorifying the same things that hurt us. You ever heard that saying the same thing that make you the same thing that'll make you laugh or make you cry? The same things that'll make you laugh or make you cry. A father is not supposed to bury his son. His son was supposed to bury him. He was supposed to pass the torch. Bro, oh, that's crazy, man. Yeah, man. It's, I hope I just I hope this summer do like doesn't be too crazy bro like it gets real hot outside people start doing all type of shit you feel me like you know then the government they always want to surprise us with some kind of crazy like bro like i don't know bro this summer i just i just i just pray that this summer like just go well you feel me someone was supposed to bring him a brand new legacy of children to run to him to call him grandpa Once, this, once again, the streets win again. The streets is undefeated. The streets have an expiration date. And bullets don't have no name on it. Anybody can get it. Y'all hit the like button, hit the share button, hit the subscribe button, and pay attention to your circle before they hurt you. Just remember something, man. When y'all see these rappers on TV rapping, these dudes... Sell you lyrical slaughter. No, nah, I'm not gonna hold you. The snoring is distracting, bro. It really is, though. <laughs> I'm guessing that's why he apologized at the beginning of the video. Y'all could, yeah, could go in the comments and be like, oh, yeah, but you're a fire alarm. Oh, it's going off. Like, da, da, da. I, I'm saying, okay. <laughs> like, With a radio. Doesn't take the fact the way that his background is loud too. Rap game, a lot of these dudes been driving home the mansions. They don't live like that. They sell you a lifestyle of death while they live rich. Just keep that in mind when you're watching BET, MTV, or YouTube and listening to the latest or rather the, the, those old rappers. I'm out. Yeah, nah, that's the words. The words of Hassan, you heard. Um, nah, but all jokes aside, that's crazy. Y'all let me know in the comments, like, what, how did this, how did this happen? You feel me? Of course, yeah, I'm gonna probably look it up. I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna look it up. But sometimes I'm missing, I, I be missing information. 
You feel me? Y'all fill me in. So, y'all let me know what's good. I appreciate y'all watching this video. Before y'all head out, though, subscribe to my channel. You heard, put your chest in it. You know what I'm saying? Um, smash that like button. Turn your post notifications. Y'all already know. Y'all can get notified when I drop these videos. That's my alarm. All right, but, um, yeah, I'll see y'all on the next one. Let's get it.